Welcome to the International Tennis Hall of Fame here in beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. And you know, you never know what you're going to come across when you're traveling around the world. And that's what I was thinking as I walked into this beautiful place here, right on, uh, well, right on Bellevue Avenue as you turn into the Bellevue uh, Mansion District. And I thought that I would do a real quick video here and share with you this uh, pretty special place. I can't say that I've been much of a tennis player, but I like to watch tennis with the uh, with the with the best of them, particularly the uh, Wimbledon and you know some of the other big matches. Here you see Frederick J. Peary. He was the winner of three Wimbledon championships, 1934, 35, and 36. Some U.S. championships and uh, Australian championship. He was pretty good back in the uh, back in the early 30s, you see. And what a beautiful place this is. Look at the buildings. If I'm not mistaken, this is part of a part of a casino here in Newport, Rhode Island. And they've got a museum that takes the better part of an hour to walk through, but. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to forego walking through the, the museum. But I thought that I would share the, the grounds with you. And it's a beautiful day to do that. The temperatures are probably in the mid-70s. It's a, well, it's an early autumn day. Late, uh, late September, as I show you the, the building here, the Welcome Center, where the museum entrance is located. And there you see my unicycle that I'm about to take on the on the tour of the of the mansions. And just up ahead, you can have there's the uh, Hall of Fame Tennis Club, Pro Shop, and Court Reservations, the Casino Theater, and a few other things. Now they actually have a uh, an annual uh, championship tennis match here. I think it was the the ATP Tennis Championship that they have here right after right after Wimbledon in in July I was told look at this really a beautiful place and I can't say that I've been to I can't say that I've been to uh, Newport before and here you see the results of the Hall of Fame opened the ATP for the 2019. Jay, Jay Eisner won the, uh, won the competition against A. Bublik. So, just going to do a real quick walk through here. I would imagine this is where they have the, this is where they have the tennis. You can see the, the grandstand over there they have flags from different countries well, what a nice place it's interesting you don't actually see markings for tennis courts here and I don't know that they that these are tennis courts but now here we have some folks actually playing some tennis just over here I've never actually played on a grass court before Played on clay courts and asphalt. All right. Here's a nice shot of the rear of the property right here.
All right, now I'm going to go and take a tour of the of the mansions of Bellevue Avenue here in Newport. So I'll be at a uh, a brief tour. Hope uh, hope you enjoyed checking out the the Hall of Fame here. If only the exterior of the of the Hall of Fame. I think there was another uh, another statue just up ahead as you walk out, which I will share with you here. What a beautiful property this is. It was just yesterday that I was touring Boston. Here you see a, another individual, James Henry Jimmy Van Allen, 1902 to 1991. He was the founder of the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1954. All right, let's go check out the check out Newport, Rhode Island. <laughs> 